Hello there and welcome to our Evolve Let's Play. We're going to be looking at all of the new stuff in the game. Uh, I got to go hands on with a pretty much final build of the game. So all the new hunters, all the latest hunters I should say, and the brand new monster, the Wraith. Uh, you can see them being picked here. So we've got Parnell, the assault class, he's the new guy, Parnell. We've got Cabot, who is the leader of the hunters, he's the uh, new support class. Kyra, who's the new medic. and Popping in a minute should be the new Trapper, and that is Abe, if I'm not mistaken. And then we'll have the Wraith popping in, and she is the new monster. Kind of Geiger-esque monster. Hi, Rich. Hi, Dan. You're right. right? Yeah, how's it going? Uh, yeah, yeah, this is Dan, joining me on the uh, Let's Play thing here. This is Rich. So, uh, yeah. This Christmas jumper. So this is a defend match, Dan, on the new Calico map, as it says in the corner there. Uh, the person it, I was playing with at this point is taking their map? time. Uh, so is it a new, it new be Calico? A new uh, I see. Yeah, I see what you did there. Um, yeah, I think what it a great is. It's kind of a, they've got. There's a lot of brilliant facial hair in this game. Really strong moustaches and beards. I think Hank has the greatest beard I've ever seen. It's What's a Hank? Proper, he's a support class as well. Although Griffin the Trapper has an amazing moustache too. So you know they're not exclusive to the support classes. The amazing facial rugs. Is the, uh, the this turtle rock? Studio has oh, Phil Rob, right? Yeah, Phil Rob, but I think he's got all amazing growing, beards. They're all right? grown beards, I think. Oh, they're like really? development beards, so Deve they shave them off, I think, when de development's over. It's a weird That's thing we've got going on. What's the game out, Rich? The game's out February 10th, and there will be a open uh, open beta, I should say, on Xbox One from January 15th to January 19th. And In the on, middle of the, the Halo 5 beta? Yeah. <laughs> and then on PlayStation 4, there's going to be a small technical test, which is weird. Um, sort of closed thing, very limited. Xbox One you'll be able to transfer your progress over, so anything you unlock will go over to the full game, which is cool. But yeah, here I'm playing on the new Calico map then, I am Parnell here, who's so the new Assault class. Probably worth pointing out that we're not actually playing at this moment in time, but this is, this yeah. is footage you captured, what, a couple of weeks back? This is footage I captured, yeah, a couple of weeks back at an event uh, where they revealed the Wraith monster for the first time. And this is the Wraith monster you're fighting here? This is the Wraith monster that we're fighting, so you'll be able to see them shortly because he's just scared a, a flock of, I should say she, it's a she, they scared a flock of birds. In Defend, um, the monster starts at level 3 in its evolution, so straight out the gate it's big and scary and it's coming for you. And it's also got an army of Goliath minions. They're all level 1 Goliath minions, but the object for the monster is to attack these generators and make it through these barriers to get to your escape ship. It's the final round in evacuation when you play that. That's made up of five rounds. Each mode is uh, put to the player vote uh, as to which one you want to play. There's nest, rescue and uh, hunt are the other modes. Defend's always the last mode you'll play on the fifth round. Um, so yeah, you, that was Kyra who just set off a, a burst grenade to heal the team. She's the least effective of the medics I found. Val and Lazarus seem to have more direct kind of healing beams. Um, hers is this weird burst grenade. Um, yeah, so anyway, Parnell, he's got a double barrel shotgun, so he really has to get up close to do some proper damage. Um, right. Yeah, it was just in the distance there. Um, I found that I was having a lot of success getting up close and wow. killing some of the minions. So yeah, this is the supernova ability that Wraith has. and. She just goes into a crazy overdrive. Her melee damage goes up, her speed goes up, and she can really, really decimate a team of hunters quite fast. But yeah, Parnell's got a cloak, so he can be can, quite stealthy. Can you hurt her while she's...? Yeah, you can still hurt her while she's in Supernova, so it's a, a kind of risk-reward thing. You can go crazy with Supernova and try and accumulate a lot of damage, but you're wide open to... Um, to uh, yeah, being damaged by the hunters when that's happening. So this is the first time they've really showed off any kind of mode that isn't just kill the monster. Right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, I mean, they did detail it about a week and a bit ago, I think. A few of the modes like evacuation and whatnot. Uh, but this is the first time I actually got to go properly hands-on with that evacuation. These turrets as well. Had the hunters lost the previous round, you wouldn't get those turrets. You get win and loss rewards. So had the monster won, he'd have an advantage. He'd, okay. he'd have an edge. Um, so you won the previous round? Though. So we won the previous round, so we got those turrets which are really helpful. The monster can destroy those though, they're not there permanently. Yeah. Those can be yeah, torn apart quite easily. So you'll see our generator is quite damaged at the moment, so we're in a bit of trouble. Um, yeah. We've hardly seen the Wraith, right? Well, it's, it's a stealthy, it, of the three monsters, it's the stealthiest one. 
so she can do cloaks and decoys and things to distract you. But yeah. she's back again here with a supernova again. She's also got a, it's a supernova warp blast. And a time down then. Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, and you can see she was tagged just then. I think that's Cabot's tagging thing. Um, I might be mistaken, it might be someone else's. But yeah, there's a tag thing, it slows him down a bit. That's me going to Super Soldier, doing that fist thing. That ups his speed, but uh, decreases his damage output. So that again is a kind of, do you do that, or do you just you know stick with the damage? The speed stuff, the speed boost is very very helpful. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean dealing with all these Goliath minions can be a bit of a sod. But it's, yeah. You're gonna you're gonna talk about the the warp ability before I. Oh yeah. The actually I've just remembered that is actually a stasis grenade that someone's let off on him. That's why it's slowed him down. Yeah. So the warp blast is another of Wraith's abilities, and she will like. Tear across the screen and explode. Has only got like 10 health left? Ah? The generator. Oh, the generator, yes. I'm pretty sure the generator gets destroyed. So, what happens when it gets destroyed? Game over? No. The barrier breaks down, you go back, you go through to the next generator, then there's another barrier for the monster to destroy. So it's a little bit like um, Battlefield, where Rush, where you're pushing oh, yeah, through stages. Is, yeah, I suppose essentially it is a little bit like Rush, but the ultimate goal for the monster is to break through those barriers and destroy your ship which you're using to try and escape with all the colonists okay. you save. Because um, yeah, each mode prior to this, you're trying to save colonists. So rescue mode is literally, you're saving injured col colonists who are dotted around the map. Uh, you, try, you have to escort them to a safe zone. And then uh, nest, uh, you have to try and destroy the monster's eggs. Um, yeah, so lots of different modes, quite interesting. Uh, I've been downed here and I'm in a hedge. Classic in a bush. It's good, it's good cover. Yeah. Nobody can see you. But I'm being revived, so that's good. Good old Hunter. Yeah. Hunter 2. I got downed a lot. The monster is so lethal. Uh, if it, yeah, if it singles you out and it can do that easily because, it, again, it's got another ability called abduction and it can just drag you out with a beam oh, really? and separate you from the rest of the group. That's pretty cool. And you can be completely screwed. So this is the mobile arena that the hunter's dropped. Every hunter has that as a standard yeah. ability, like it has a harpoon as well. So you can drop your mobile arena and then... You can keep it away the generator, in. I take it, right? Just yeah. Generator outside. That's yeah. what you want to do, yeah. You want to bring that mobile arena down and try and deal as much damage as you can before they get to the generators. Um, that's easier said than done, especially with a character that's as, a monster, I say, that's as fast as Wraith is. She can also climb any surface, so she's super, super mobile. She's maybe not quite as mobile as the Kraken because uh, he can fly around a bit. But um, She's quicker yeah. then, right? Yeah, she's much quicker. She's the weakest as well, so it's kind of a trade off. So, oh, speed be, versus, right? yeah. So, the Goliath's the slowest, but he's also the most heavily armoured and the strongest. The Kraken uh, kind of sits somewhere in the middle. Yeah, Kraken's kind of, in the preview I wrote, I say he's sort of the sniper of the group, it seems. He has a lot of kind of singularity beams and things, and little uh, kind of aerial lightning attacks, little area of effect things, which are quite cool. This is um, Cabot's radioactive dust that he's dropped, and that tags everything within its vicinity. So now we can see the monster through like walls and things. So that's the uh, monster not in Wraith mode? Not uh, in well. That, that was obviously a decoy, I'm guessing, because she obviously dropped a decoy there, went invisible, came around the other side. Oh, that's pretty cool. So that's the, that's the really cool thing about this might be my... But the health there, we're, we're absolutely battering her. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. yeah, so she really needs to get away and try and evolve, I think. Um, I just got a nice little reward there for my rocket launcher use. Oh, I missed that, Rich. Yeah, it's actually a multi-missile launcher, so you can sort of let off several missiles in quick succession. And of course you don't have just monsters to contend with, you have the wildlife as well. Um, yeah, and I'm down again, I got properly smacked across the map. It's two of you down, Rich. Yeah, so things can get pretty desperate pretty quickly, but if you do do get downed and you die, it's not over for you. It's There's like 30 seconds, is it, or 40 seconds? Yeah, I think maybe 45 seconds, I might be wrong. But you go back up to the, the ship, ship and, drop down, and then you get dropped back in. But but if all of you die once, it's game over. Yeah, I mean, we, we there's a point where we all died and we all managed to time out and get back up in the ship, but it's too late. Yeah. I think the, the match ended with us in the ship. And it's like, no, nah, just a few seconds longer we could have made it. So this was actually a really good team game we had going here because everyone was, you know, looking after each other, and that just kind of really highlights how important communication and teamwork is in this game. Um, 
So yeah, playing solo is a bit weird. The the bots seem quite good, but um, it's, it's not really a game to play solo, right? It's not, but you can play offline. It is worth noting that you can if you want to. Um, I think it would be the most fun as a solo experience playing as a monster because that is inherently a solo game anyway. So um, yeah, what's your options. Here? There you go. I don't know. Yeah. Medics trying to give us a bit of healing there with the, the healing grenades. Uh, the monster's been hammered somewhere. So this this medic has kind of dual purpose grenades really. She has the healing grenades that she can blast. She also has napalm grenades, which is a bit more has a bit more offensive power than the other medics. So I guess that's why she's not quite as effective yeah. as a medic because she's got better attack options. Very uh, struggling here. Yeah, I mean it's health that's really on there. It's got to be game over. Yeah, yeah, I don't think there's much longer with this match. Yeah, so you've got a countdown in the top left corner as well, so the Hunters win in a minute if the Wraith can't bring down that second generator. Okay. So the thing is with this, it gets really frantic really quickly. Um, you find yourself zipping around quite a lot with your jetpack. Yeah. And you see that's that's uh, measured with that right oh, hand meter there. Look how close this there. is. Look at the generator. Every game I played was really close pretty much. Save for the odd one where the team didn't really gel properly and kind of wandered off on their own yeah. and got you know picked off. Um, Hunters won in 30 seconds. You just can't you can't afford to do that at all. So yeah, in uh, 15 seconds. Oh. The, yeah, there you go. More minions spawning in in a few seconds. Oh, I see. So it's like a cycle. Yeah. So had the monster not destroyed that generator, it would have been all over. Yeah, so this is it now. This is the ultimate goal. The the monster needs to destroy this. It's down to me to kill it and I do. I take out the monster. Well, I, I save the day. Well, I don't achievement progression and as well. the ship gets away. Had the monster won, that would have blown up, the explosion would have gone up the pipe and the ship would have exploded. Do you get to see that later on? Uh, possibly, yeah. There's a couple I'm of pretty sure, I'm right? pretty sure there's a few matches here where I, I lose uh, terribly. Well. But um, yes, yeah, so you get little awards popping up throughout so uh, for various milestones which is cool you get a little one for completing each map and then I thought you know this would be interesting to see it shows all your player progression how that feeds into your XP and you level up uh, you unlock new perks which is a quick well, weapon right? switch so that's a new perk you can take several perks in with you at the beginning of each match or rather no you can take one perk and uh, as a monster you can take in several different abilities and you feed points into those. So yeah, then I can unlock new weapons and yeah, like you say, eventually new characters. And playing as the monster you unlock new monsters. Um, so you start off with Goliath, then you unlock the Kraken, yeah. then you unlock the Wraith, the Wraith. ultimately. Yeah. That's and it, though, three monsters. Pre-ordering gets you a fourth as well, and an extra skin for Goliath. Um, in fact, do there's we, extra skins the for every monster, I believe. No, but they've done a silhouette of it. I think they've released a silhouette and it's got big lobster claws and it looks huge, like a kind of big uh, thing with an exoskeleton. This so is yeah. the second. So what class are you here? Uh, I believe I am support at this point. So okay. I think I'm playing as Abe here. Um, so I'll have my big shotgun. Each thing starts with a little tutorial as well, the first time you play. So the first time you play as each class, you get a little rundown of what they do, their abilities. So AP has a tagging pistol you can use to tag enemies and uh, wildlife. Um, if the monster eats that wildlife you tag, it tags the monster oh, as well. Awesome. This is the stasis grenade, it slows down the monsters, which is really useful. Your shotgun's really cool as well, it's like a several blast thing. If you blast slowly, with slow spaces in between each shot, it's more accurate. If you Boom, 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 quick succession, bigger spread, yeah. less accuracy. Well, that's quite good if you're really close quarters with the uh, yeah the monster, and then you just... Yeah, these little bits at the beginning are quite amusing as well. So when um, you see that, the little thing, you see Markov is a wanker written oh, on his nice. locker there and stuff. Little incidental details like that. Are kind of Incidentally, is he nice. a wanker or is he a nice guy? Uh, he's alright, he seems okay. I, don't know. I like the assault classes though, just generally. I think they're my favourite characters to play as because you properly get stuck in. Yeah. Um, so I think I struggle here a bit as uh, the support class, as, as Ape here, if I remember rightly. Not as much as I struggle later on with the Medic, where I last, I think, about a minute. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be quite embarrassing. I think we saved that till last, which uh, we shouldn't have done, really. No, we should have. Because then so the people don't get all the way to the end, and then I yeah. miss you being horrific. So ultimately this is going to end in humiliation for me, 
even though I might look good in the other matches. It always does, Rich. Yeah. Story of your life. So the jetpack's really cool as well because you can sort of feather the uh, landing and take off so you can sort of glide a little bit if you kind of have a, a bit of a deft touch with it. the same map? Uh, I think this is a different map. So this is kind of a uh, kind of oh, rotting, kind of decaying forest. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, the decaying the forest? Let's call it the decaying forest. Yeah, sure. But yeah, you can see things are pretty uh, barren here. And what, what's, what game mode is this? This is. Straight up death match. I think this might be a straight up hunt. Which is basically. So this is basically just take out the monster, the monster needs to take out the hunters. No, nothing more to it than that really. But that's kind of the essence of Evolve, I think. How many uh, games did you game play? Mode. I played one of everything. I played loads. Um, I did capture a lot. But so how many? Give me, give me figures, roughly. Five, six, seven? I played a lot of solo. So that was a good sort of six or seven matches, I think, of solo play. In terms um, of the actual multiplayer, though? Like, actual multiplayer, I played about... Probably about eight or nine matches in all, I think. And who won the majority of times? <clears throat> it was actually quite balanced. There was a guy who was quite a good monster player. And he was evolving quickly. And once that monster gets to level three, it becomes a whole different game. You'll see the health here. He's mm. level one. It's quite low, and his arm's quite low. Yeah. So he really needs to get away and evolve as fast as he can because he's well, not going to stand much of a chance. Well, isn't that the strategy? Just to go away and avoid yeah. protection for as long as possible. Literally, the first thing you want to be doing as a monster is just legging it. You just need to get the hell out of there and eat as much stuff as you can. Hold the left trigger to eat stuff. Obviously, you got to kill it first. But this is um, where the Kraken, the Kraken, the, the Wraith should be better, right? Because yeah. stealth, uh, movement speed. Yeah, that's true, and the decoy, obviously. Um, I managed to evolve with her a few times, um, in the few times I did get to play. What can you do to counteract her speed? <clears throat> oh, so that was that, okay, so that was our ape thing. What can you do to counter counteract her speed? Yeah, because uh, I mean, she can go all the time. Slow okay. down. Stasis grenades, what about, like, I assume, Tagging enemies as well. Tagging to keep track of her. Obviously, this is where Cabot's um, orbital dust comes in. His radioactive dust, because that tags everything in the area. Okay. It's super useful. And his railgun goes through stuff. Really? So he can blast that monster through that. I actually saw one guy. He was shooting at the floor. I was like, what's he doing? I realised he tagged the monster, and he was shooting him down through the floor, through the cliff face. So he can attack from anywhere. He's... he's pretty lethal I think. But you have to tag them first before you can shoot Well you more. just can't see the monster otherwise, oh, yeah. so you could just be shooting at thin air. But yeah, he's quite a good good mix. So yeah, this is me playing as Cabot in nest mode, so you can see how many eggs you need to uh, destroy. The monster has options, he can see, he or she can see all of her eggs. You can't see them, you need to find them. Okay. She can hatch um, any egg. To oh, No, no, she can hatch one egg at a time and have a Goliath minion with her. But at the expense of destroying an egg. Yeah. If all the hunters destroy all the eggs, that's it, it's over. And the weird thing is though that if the monster wipes out the hunters, if the hunters kill the monster, it's over as well. So there's always that underlying game of hunt going on as yeah. well, in addition to these additional objectives. But the encouragement is to play the objective and uh, yeah, try and destroy the eggs. But the eggs, as you see in a bit, take a hell of a pounding. They're not like Aliens eggs. Okay, so it's not just hit them once and then it's, it's game over. Yeah, exactly. Is that an egg? Mm, that is a big piece <laughs> of wildlife. <laughs> I don't know what I was attempting to is do there. What, an animal? That's an animal, yeah. He, you'll find a lot of the uh, fauna in these levels is hostile. So it's kind of do you want to stir disturb this big guy? You'll get a perk, yeah. a smatch out of him if you do, but it's probably best to leave him alone because you can have. You know, a bit of a fight on your hands, and that will attract the monster, and you're vulnerable. And at the same time, the monster can get into fights with stuff. I've yeah. seen monsters in fights with them, um, they're called uh, tyrants, massive crocodile things in yeah. the lakes, and the monster gets messed up. There we go. Here we go. So, yeah, this is an egg, so I'm railgunning this to shit oh, as much as I can, but it takes a lot of doing. I, I think well, I guess I, if you're all there, just bang, 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 yeah, bang, bang, so bang, 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 but um, even with a railgun and shotgun going full bore at that thing, it's still taking a long time. Well, I got an egg beater reward for blowing it up. So that's two eggs down already. Uh, but the monster's been away evolving. Um, so is that why it's called Evolve, Rich? Yes, it is. Fantastic. Yeah, amazing, that, isn't it? So, and there it is, evolving. It's just evolved in front of us. Well, we've destroyed its armour. 
Because you caught it while it was caught alive. Caught it in mid evolve, yeah. Um, so yeah, the prudent thing for her to do why, would be to why, get away. Why would she do it in the middle of the warfare uh, like that? I don't you know. go away and hide because you can do whatever, right? I went and hid in swamps and things where I thought I wouldn't be found. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. So I did my best to revive everyone as well. But yeah, it does make sense to hide. I, yeah, yeah, hammer there. We did, we got decimated, yeah, just, again, the team getting split up, and... That's it, right? that's the name yeah. of the game, isn't it? Yeah, really, honestly, anyway. you get properly penalised if you don't work as a team. Just focus on the uh, the weak one, the pack, and yeah. just kind of suck him away from the pack, especially if you've got Absolutely. that abduction ability. Literally, abduct, supernova, you me can mess up a hunter in a matter of seconds, as you've seen here, and that's that. And it's me on my own now, that's it. Oh, we've got Hunter 2 back in, I should say, but yeah, but on my, on my own, no support, oh, doing what I can, kind of uh, yeah. supernova Not really much I could have done there, No, really. absolutely not, no. So, uh, there if you go. If it's one on one, you're never going to win, right? Yeah, so I get to watch now while uh, the medic attempts to go it alone, and this ain't going to happen. The medic do you, do you can't. spawn back in? Uh, I it? would in, yeah, in a minute, actually. Oh, okay, so it's actually quite a long wait, so that's it. It last, Rich. Ah. Told you, it's all downhill yeah, from here. What's this little cutscene? So yeah, each time something happens, you get a cutscene and it shows you what's happening. So we would have got those nice missile turrets, but uh, we're not getting them there. And the monster, is... the monster gets a thing. Okay, and this is a new map now, right? Oh, so the next map mode. will be new, yeah. So, uh, yeah. And then this is, the, I do believe this is the last little clip, right? Uh, it will be, yes, because we've been through all, all three classes so far that we've seen. So this is class number four, this is the medic. This is the shortest bit, and this is where I get absolutely owned. It's embarrassing. Kyra. So this is Kyra the medic. She's the newest medic. She has healing grenades. She can pelt at her friends. How many does she have? Because she's firing them. Uh, ammo isn't actually a thing in this, really. Um, unless it's like Markov's lightning gun or whatever, and that's only measured in cooldown, it always comes back after okay. a while. Same with There's the, not, uh, no numbers to keep an eye on for ammo. Some expected. of the rockets that you have. Yeah, I think they come back after a while. Also, there's a counter for how many you can do in a one go for them to reload. Yeah. But, yeah, you don't have a uh, an overall total cache of ammo. Well, I guess that's just so. frustrating, right? Yeah, I think so. In a game like this, definitely. you'd um, yeah, If you had to gather ammo as well, it'd just be too this much. This is a fucking apostrophe. Did they? Yeah. I was... Yeah, it's graffiti right. though, isn't it? Yeah, it's Hyde. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible grammar. Um, Someone said Hyde's like Vinnie Jones. Oh, really? It kind of is like Vinnie Jones with an eye patch and a beard and armour. That's Hyde on the right. He's, he's a Cockney lad. Is that yeah. Hyde? He is, yeah. So he's an assault class from one of the previously announced second line of uh, hunters. So there's three sets of hunters, three monsters. Um, three of each, right? Three of each. So yeah. three assault, three medics, three, three combat. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Uh, are they all massively different? Not massively different, but different enough, definitely. Like, Bucket is the support robot. He can detach his head and fly around like a drone and oh, really? attack things and stuff, yeah. Oh, that's pretty uh, cool. Maggie has um, a what? trap jaw uh, called Daisy that she can send that's off to That's the little thing. monster yeah, thing. You'll have seen that before. So, okay, what's the other one I have? Do you know? Huh? The other. What class was that you were just talking about then? Oh, the um, support? Yeah. Is that support? Both of yeah, them support? Yeah, that's, that's also... Hank, what? Hank's the other support, sorry. He can throw up shields to support and, uh, his okay. allies, which is quite useful. So those are their specific unique abilities? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Would yeah. you say every, one every was class more valuable that. than the other? I think Bucket's good. That thing getting ahead, <laughs> literally, oh, getting oh, his head oh, off oh. and going and tagging the monster as quick as he can, that can be really advantageous. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. But the medic, you might, you'll have just seen... About a minute ago, I did a speed thing. Uh, it's like a buff, speeds everyone up who's by me. So that's really useful for getting um, a drop on the monster. Like a grenade launcher. So, yeah, it's kind of dual purpose, like I was saying earlier. So you can fire healing grenades and napalm grenades. Okay. So I was pelting napalm grenades at wildlife then. As you do. As you do. So, yeah, the monster leaves tracks, obviously, just going for a little swim there. As you do. Uh, so, yeah, you can track the monster. Uh, and we're getting into a fight with a tyrant. That's that's a good idea. So someone uh, got that on. Oh, um, is that the crocodile? You're see what it, about? That's the crocodile thing I was talking about. Yeah. It's yeah, kind of a mix between a sort of hammer and thing. Yeah. So 
Okay, the monster got his own poke, cooldown reduction, so he obviously ate something quite useful. You want to use? And there he is! There she is! I should, yeah, so. Um, wow, this wraith is mental. This is why we got messed up, because the wraith got the drop on us really early. While you were fighting a tyrant? Yeah, so that was it. It, it just, yeah, we got annihilated. And then she went through and just systematically picked on you. Are you yeah. back up there? So that was it. Yeah, this this really didn't last long, this game. It just, the team just it didn't work. I mean, I I didn't really like the medic much. I was getting frustrated at the other people playing as medics, thinking, why are you healing everyone? And playing as the medic, I realised that the healing grenades well, aren't very effective. Oh, so the new, this medic, they just, as opposed yeah. to the other medics. I can kind of get on board with the healing beam, directly healing someone, but... Yeah, the healing grenade thing wasn't working for me. So, um, yeah, Slowly, that was about that. One by one, decimated. you are being battered. Decimated. Absolutely. And that's super thing. Like oh, there you go. It's you out. And that's all she wrote, man. And that is pretty much all she wrote for, wow. for this uh, Let's Play, I believe. So, that's a nice little overview of Evolve for you. Yeah. And the new Wraith monster. There she is. And weather control. Is that the. Uh, that was the map, weather control. So weather control yeah. and new camp. It's the Kelly station. Kit. So, the monster wins, destroys all our shit. And, and doesn't control the weather. Yeah, we're buggered, it starts to rain. And that and has been Evolve, right? And that's Evolve, out February 10th. And she spawned some nasty things to eat us as well. So, thanks for watching guys. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thanks. Yes, thank you very much. Bye. Bye-bye.